Hey guys, KGM here, and I'm back with another Tekken 7 video. I did realize that Kareem backdashing needs to be its own video because it's something that's so important, whether you're a beginner, an intermediate, or a legacy player to Tekken. So, what Kareem backdashing is used for is creating space between you and your opponent, as well as with punishing your opponent. When you're creating this space, you need to know your character's range. In order to know your character's range, you need to know literally everything about your character, as well as how far certain moves can hit. For example, when I Korean backdash out, at this range, I know Law has access to one move. Well, two two moves, essentially. He has access to forward, forward, four, which is this. And he also has access to three plus four, four, right? So just learn your range with your character. Learn what moves you have access to when you learn how to Korean backdash. And this is pretty much how to do it. So all Korean backdashing is, is just back, back slide your finger to down back so here's how it looks when you do it slow All right that's how it looks when you do it slow when you get to a very high level of practicing it it looks like this All right when you normal backdash it looks like this right and when you normal backdash there's a temporary state in which you can't do nothing right there's a normal, like, there's a temporary state in which you can't do anything but block. I mean to say that. I'm sorry about that, right? When you Korean backdash, you cancel that option, and you can pretty much get out of any situation faster. Me, personally, when I'm Korean backdashing, I like running in and then Korean backdashing out because it forces my opponent to whip a mood, or sometimes they even throw out moves so I can just punish them for it. So once you learn how to Korean backdash on player one or player two, practice it on the other side. Because some players can only do that on one side, and I don't know why they can only do that on one side. Same thing applies for wave dashing. Players only learn how to wave dash on one side, and the moment you grab them and you switch sides, that player is completely assed out. So if you guys do have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Again, all it is is back, back, down, back. Right? Master that timing, and once you master that timing, you pretty much should have it down. But yeah, I'm going to put a one clip in of me, Kareem, back dashing and my opponent forcefully whiffing a move or probably even two clips just to show you guys the true potential of it it is something that you guys should learn you guys do need it if you guys do plan on playing this game on a very high level it's been kgm and i'm out peace round one fight